One very easy and simple way to refute the World Mission Society Church of God and their false god of God the Mother, whom they teach is another god, a separate god from God the Father, two different gods total, is to look at Malachi 2.20. It really does seem to me that most of uh, these members of this church don't actually read the, their Bible for themselves. They don't read the Bible cover to cover. They don't read the Bible in context. They skip over all the verses which blatantly contradict what their doctrines teach. Because if you simply read the Bible, there is no way you can believe in two different gods, a God the Father and a God the Mother. Malachi 2.10 says in the NIV, Do we not all have one Father? Did not one God create us? Why do we profane the covenant of our ancestors by being unfaithful to one another? The King James says, Have we not all one Father? Hath not one God created us? Why do we deal treacherously every man against his brother by profaning the covenant of our fathers? Interestingly enough, and ironically enough, uh, the World Mission Society Church of God, just like these people described in the verse, are in a sense profaning the covenant of the fathers of our faith. The fathers here may refer to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. They believed in one and only one God, the Lord God of Israel. We can call him Jehovah or Yahweh. They didn't believe in Ansang Hong. They didn't believe in a God the Mother. They only had one God. And uh, the World Mission Society Church of God are profaning the truth of God by believing in a pagan type goddess figure, a heavenly mother. The scripture here is very, very clear, very, very simple. One Father, one God who created us, one Creator. We don't have one creator called God the Father and then another creator called God the Mother. We don't have two separate gods, but the one God here is referred to as Father. One Father, not one Father and one Mother. The one God is the one Father. The one Father is the one God. The one God is the one who created all of us, our potter. Right? So the God of the Bible is identified as a He, as Father, our Heavenly Father. Jesus himself told us to pray like this, our Father, which art in heaven, not our mother. The World Muslim Society Church of God are in direct rebellion against the truth of God and his word. They are directly contradicting numerous scriptures by believing in two separate gods. When the Bible over and over and over again says there is one God, there is one God who created us. Isaiah 44, 24, so many scriptures. God made the worlds through his Son, Hebrews chapter 1 says. God the Father and through his Son. Nothing about from God the Mother. If you really believe in multiple gods, I urge you to read the Bible for yourself. Read the whole book of Isaiah if necessary. Because it's so clear and obvious that there is one rock, that there is one God, that there is no Savior besides him. He is the one and only Savior. There is no God the Mother in the Scriptures. All the Bible verses that the World Mission Society Church of God use in support of a so-called God the Mother, uh, well, it's, it's just ridiculous handling of the Scriptures to support something that they've already made up in their mind. Then they go to the Scriptures and find a God the Mother. They force the Bible to such a strange idea that the Church has never believed for 2,000 years. Show